I got us adjoining rooms. Hello. Okay. This is civil. You look horrible. And you're missing an arm. Go over there. Put your things down. Let me out! Who's out there? Quiet, please, sweetie. Your things. There. Just be cool. Do I not seem cool? Good. Go sit down. Do you know who I am? No. I don't know anything about you. You wouldn't. People like you don't. Now you're thinking, who would have it out for me, huh? A few weeks back, there might have been a station wagon in the forest, full of all sorts of food, water, things you need to survive. Yeah, I'm not some cannibal, Lee. Some killer out in the woods. Some villain. I'm just a dad. I coach Little League. I didn't take from you. Your people didn't? I didn't agree with it. That's what Clementine said. Why didn't you? It wasn't right. It wasn't our stuff. That's real good of you. Look, what do you want me to say? I don't want you to say anything. I want you to know what happened. Have you ever hurt somebody you care about? Yes, of course. Who? My wife. Clementine said she wasn't with you. I heard her a long time ago. How? In a lot of ways. She traveled for work. I didn't like that. I wanted a family. A reasonable thing to want. So we fought, and it made my biggest fear come true. Got sick one day on my way to class. Canceled it and went home. Found her there with someone else. Killed him. I was mad at her for so long, and I can't imagine how much pain she felt. How about you? I hurt her. So bad. My son Adam went missing. I took him out hunting even though my wife said he was too young. I figured he had to learn. I came back without him and the look on her face said, You are a monster. We all went out looking for him. We never found him. I hurt her so bad. And then we came back, and all our stuff was gone. Your people, Lee. That asshole in the ball cap. His stupid fucking wife. I could have earned her trust back if they hadn't made our situation so desperate. I'm 
sorry. The hungrier we got, the more she blamed me. Until she finally took our daughter Elizabeth and left. They didn't get far. I found them a day later in the road. Do I look like a monster to you? No. I'm not like you. You walked a little girl into a dairy full of sick people and let them get their hands on her. I was trying to find someplace safe for her. You abandoned a defenseless, grieving woman. You weren't there. You brought her to the most dangerous place in this city where she could have died! That's not the whole story. The whole story?! How could you know all this? You're a monster. You're a murderer and a thief. And I'm gonna hurt you so bad. I didn't steal from you! But think of everything else you did! After I found Clementine on my radio, I wasn't even mad at you. I was coming for the others. For revenge. But the more I heard about the things you did, and the danger she was in, our plan changed. Lee, listen to me. I need you to hear this before what happens next. I can take care of her. We can have a family. I bet you don't even know how old she is. She's eight. Wrong. She's nine. But... Her birthday was six days ago. I know how to be a dad, you know. She wouldn't be exposed to what she has been with you. No. Shut up. It makes sense. It's not happening. Let us go. No. No, I don't think so. You're going away, and we're starting a new family. Hey, honey. I think this is all gonna work out. What are you... I'm glad too. I wish it wouldn't have had to get this bad, but it's all over, hon. Isn't it? Just about. I hate seeing you like this. I just miss your smile, honey. I miss you so much, Tess. You're gonna like Clementine a lot, though. She's not Lizzie, but she's sweet. She wouldn't hurt a fly. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> 
would have come back. That's right, sweet pea. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Shh. It's okay. It's okay. Your arm's gone. Why? That's so scary. I... had an accident. We'll talk about it somewhere safe. You don't smell good. Yeah, I know. Did he hurt you? No. Not really. I'm sorry, Lee. Clea, it's okay. We need to get you somewhere safe. And then we have to talk, okay? Yeah. Everything's okay now. We need to figure out how to get out of Savannah as fast as we can. going to kill you. And take you. Yeah. Jesus. Don't look in there. No, I know. Way out. Through there. Done. A little more. I want to be sure. <sighs> there. That should do it. I hope so. And you're missing something. I thought it was gone. I thought you were gone. Thank you. Stay right next to me. Walk very slowly. Don't look around. And don't panic. Mm-hmm. I'll keep you safe.
Ellie, wake up. Please don't be dead. Please, no. Lee, I, I was so scared. I, I, I thought you left me. I, I, I saw my parents. They're dead. They really are. Uh, I'm done. We have to get out of here as fast as we can. Well, we can't. There's thousands of them outside. We have to. I'll protect you. We'll push no, through. No, no, that's crazy. I saved you. We're safe here. I locked us in. Get that door open. I can't. Do it! It was only a little open when I found it. I closed it to keep us safe. Pull on three. One. Two. Three! See? Clementine. Honey. My arm is gone because I cut it off. Why would you do that? Because I was bitten, Clem. Please, no. No. Th that's not true. Yes, it is. It's like Larry, isn't it? It's gonna be okay. You are gonna be okay. We just have to think and work together. Okay. I... I think there might be a way out over there. Good. Good girl. Let's go. I uh, might be a little slow. I got you. You can lean on me if you have to. I'm okay. I'm okay. I thought I was helping by bringing you in here. You couldn't have known. I should have told you. It was scary at the hotel. Yeah. Keep going. We're almost there. <laughs> Get up, Lee. The door is right here. There's a baseball bat under the counter, Clem. You can use that. Use the bat to shut that window so you can reach in, okay? Okay. Watch out for broken glass. Good job. Oh, <laughs> 
Don't be afraid of him, honey. You're smart. Yes, it. You're smarter than all of them. The way out's through there, Clem. I know. And don't be scared of the walker. He'll be fine. There's a chair over there. Grab the chair, Clem. Use it to reach in to the lock. Don't be 
one of them. Please don't become a walker. There's only one thing you can do. You know that. I don't know if I can. You have to shoot me, honey. Lee, no. It's okay. It's okay. Clem, I was standing over Doc holding that gun. It was so hard. I'm sorry you're in that position now. I'd give anything for you not to be. But you just have to point it at me. Close your eyes and be thankful you never have to see me as one of them. You can do it. I know you can. Okay, Lee. I can do it. I... I can. Find Omid and Krista. They're outside of town. By the train. You remember how to get back there? Yes. Good. They'll take good care of you. Stay away from the cities. Indefinitely. They're just not worth the risk. And also... What? What is it? The air is thin So we'll find a mountain path On down the hill Meet me where the snow melt blows It is there, my dear Where we'll begin again Skip and stop Yeah. 
Of days when love was true. 